Oh, I've seen this cutscene. So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure that- What are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kind of sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Nah, 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 nah. No, you don't, you don't treat Todd like that. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely, definitely checked my ID, ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Freaking Todd. Turn it off, please. Okay. So, welcome to this um, playthrough of WWE 2K22's My Rise. This is part one. I'm going to go through it and see what it's all about. All right, MMA. Pro athlete. Indie. I think we're gonna go indie. I know it's how the rock isn't in there. Yeah, we'll go indie. Right, so I've already got this guy that I've got in mind made up for. in my um, exhibition part. Who did I go with? I'm trying to remember his archetype. It wasn't High Flyer. I think it was Technician. Yeah. We'll go with his current persona. I'll create him from the ground up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the rise of Tokyo Sex Whale. Alright, I'll just put Sex Whale there, because otherwise I'll be called Sex War. <laughs> Right, so is uh, it doesn't have Sex Whale in, but it has Sexton. It doesn't have Tokyo as a name, so we're going to have to just go with Sexton. Because I'm not calling him Tony O. Sexton, that's just stupid. <sighs> More stupid than what I'm doing, leave me alone. Uh, right. Keep going, keep going, Sexton. That'll do. He is from Japan. Oh no, I don't want him from none. Uh, Tokyo, Japan. Well, he's got an American accent, hasn't he? As you've already heard. So, born in Tokyo, moved to America as a baby with his mum. Mama Sexwell raised him well. Oh, 
Alright, so face. Face template. I want to try and make it look as accurate, well, not ac as m close to um, the non my rise version. So, I remember doing something with the lips, the mouth. I remember bringing it. Making it a bit thinner. Honestly, I don't know whether I should be cutting this out. And then... Yeah, it seems about right. And I want to make his eyes a bit narrower because I've noticed in um, his entrance that he his eyes seem really buggy, as in big, like wide, not glitched. So. Okay, um, we'll drop the lip fullness a little bit as well. That'll do. Okay. They just seemed a bit too wide, his eyes did. So, body, uh, we'll go skin colour first. I'm not sticking with that. Was it that one or I think it was this one? Body type. Right, so his height was 6'3". I think he was a medium. So what I might have to do is after when I've um, Might be that one. So I remember as a tire, it's just the body dimensions that I'm a bit stuck on. So I might. I don't think he was a large. Or he might have been, I don't know. Could be that one. Well, I'll, I'll work it in this, and then we'll see how it, if I like it better than the, it might have been that one actually, because he wasn't cut. The Tokyo Sex Well I made in normal mode wasn't cut. Like, it didn't have the abs of a six pack or anything, so probably go for that one. I like that one. Um, hate where the music just cuts off. I don't know if you can hear the music, but it doesn't have the fade out like it did in the old game.
Right, attire. This is the fun bit. Right, so... First of all, hair. He has... That hair. And then he had a hair shave design. Which one was it again? I think it was this. We'll go with that. Right, so he doesn't have face. He's clean shaven in exhibition mode. And. Well, outside of my rise, but I feel like I need some funky sideburns. What about them? No. Uh, no, none of those really do it. Let's check full beard. Nope. Might be in goatee, actually. Excessive, I think. I wouldn't have the patience to shave like that. We'll go with this one. I don't know, I don't like it. We'll go clean shaven. Eyebrows. It's not that. Um, this one maybe. We'll go with that. There he is starting to look familiar, even though I only met him a couple of days ago. Clothing. Alright, so I know what his tights are. I'll take the knee pads and stuff off for now. This thing kind of runs in the family. Bradley made his wrestler earlier. And he likes going for the leather. And that was carbon fibre. Colour. Black. White. And then the carbon fibre is white as well just to add that grey transition into it. <sighs> Gotta remember his boots now. I will remove the single word that that's still there.
He doesn't have camel toe boots. And it wasn't any of those. It's starting to come back to me now. No, it isn't. That's a knee pad I'm thinking about. I do quite like them though. I mean, it can be a bit different, can't it? Let's go with this. Oh, do I keep that black or white? I'm going to keep that black just to add a bit of and then knee pads I remember the knee pads um, not them let's see where are they See if they're in the I hate how they've done like the generic ones are white. So you really need to look close. It's not them. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so this bit's quite boring. I might do this as a separate part, and then we'll go proper into the career mode after. Can't find the knee pads I had. I'm wondering if there were, like, white ones. No, it's these. It's these ones. Alright, so... Leather to match the tights. I think I just made the elbow pad black. Excuse me. And then that's his ring gear done. that to that and then edit this attire no 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 Bit of a Davy Jones thing. I'm not choosing any of this, I'm just looking at all the silly bullshit. Pretty clothing, that's what I wanted. Because this is what he has. That stays as cloth though. Right. That's everything done. Personal information's all... Well, I haven't done his 
menu screen pose. That'll do for now. Side plates don't matter. None of those. <sighs> I know what, right, I'll leave that for now. Uh, as payback can be resiliency, yep. That's fine. After training under two-time Hall of Fame of Booker T, you paid your dues on the indie scene, honing your craft until scouts took notice. Now that you've proven yourself on the small stage of Spotlight will only get better, bigger. Do you have what it takes to make the jump from indie prospect to WWE superstar? Right. So. I'm going to stop it there. And then... We will accept and jump in, hopefully. Uh, thanks for watching if you have. If not, I don't blame you. <laughs> um, just trying something new. See how this goes. Um, I'm in Mike Desiris Prime. Um, maybe you shall see me next time. Or you'll see Tokyo Sex Whale next time. Later.